secretaries, we have a terrain analyst, beautician, nurse, draftsman, yacht master, editor, sales manager, engineer, personnel, heavy equipment foreman, accountant, advertising, inspection supervisor, banking, health physics technician, material clerk, programmer analyst, vocational evaluator, lawyer, mechanic, reality, transportation manager, assembly operator, career consultant, construction superintendent, and a doctor. I thought it'd be interesting to look and see at our academic award winners and see what they're doing today. Uh, first of all, our valedictorian is a doctor. Our salutatorian is married to a doctor, and she is a full-time housewife. I think it's interesting to note that the female who received the English award is presently teaching Spanish at a high school. <laughs> the recipient of the Spanish award has a master's in English and is helping her husband in his own business. The recipient of the Latin award, the young man, is now a certified public accountant. Um, the science uh, award recipient is a chemical engineer. Our home economics award recipient uh, is teaching second grade. And the commercial uh, recipient is now an accountant. Now, about the superlatives, let's look and see what they're doing. You remember we elected the couples that were the most and the best in several different categories? First of all, most likely to succeed. The male in that category owns his own business as an, and is an accountant, and the female is teaching Spanish. Most versatile, I don't have any information on the female, but the male is a lawyer. Most courteous, I think this is very appropriate. The uh, male in that category is a sales manager and the uh, female is a secretary. Mr. and Miss Senior Citizen. The male is a supervisor in purchasing and the female works with her husband in his own business. Mr. and Miss Activity, he is a banker and she is coordinator of special education at a junior high school. Mr. and Ms. Congeniality, he is a sales representative and she teaches hearing impaired children. Most outstanding, he teaches criminal law out west and she is a secretary. Most athletic, uh, <laughs> I don't have any information on the female, but the male is uh, coaching and he teaches computer science. Most popular, it's interesting to note that we had two couples listed in the annual as most popular, so we probably had a tie. One couple uh, is here tonight, and he is an operation manager, and she has her, a beauty shop in her own home. The other couple we didn't hear from this time nor 10 years ago. So I assume that we weren't as popular with them as they were with us. <laughs> <laughs> so this brings our class history up to date. I think it's evident that we did go out and make positive contributions, and I think we will continue to do that. We have, in the past 20 years, experienced life's joys and endured her sorrows. Tonight is important because it gives us an opportunity to take time out from our busy lives and to evaluate our past, to appreciate those things which happened years ago, which helped us to reach our maturity, to form our identities, and to find our places in life. So what we have to look forward to now is the future and the next reunion where we can update our class history. Thank you, Iris. Uh, the next guy we're fixing to introduce, I don't think he needs any introductions because I think everybody's seen him. I already spoke to him because if you haven't, it's just because you weren't looking for him. Because <laughs> he's, see, he's already stretching his head back. <laughs> Steve Motes, he's going to do the uh, Remember Wins in our class. Steve, you ain't forgotten.
What is it I'm doing? <laughs> oh, memories. Oh, you already forgot. Okay. <laughs> memories. Good evening. I'm not used to talking. I'm sure most of you know that I never talked very much in high school. <laughs> right, Ms. Banker? <laughs> First of all, I want to thank uh, the two people that are most important for me being here, my mother, for having me. And my, father, my father for practicing a lot before I was born. Secondly, uh, my sister, uh, I don't know if any of you knew I had a sister. And I've been told by her that some of you never knew I had a sister. It's because I hate her. <laughs> the reasons I never mentioned my sister is because she used to do very cruel things to me as a child. At age five, she pushed me out of a tree. And she used to send me obscene material while I was in college. And lately, to show you how cruel this woman is, she sent me this letter, which I would like to read to you. Dear Sinner, perhaps you have heard of me in my nationwide campaign in the cause of temperance. Each year for the past 14, I have made a tour of the United States, taking one geographical area with each tour, and have delivered a series of lectures on the evils of drinking. <clears throat> On each of these most enlightening tours, I have been accompanied by my close friend and assistant, Clyde Lindstrom. Clyde, a strong man of good family and excellent background, is a pathetic example of life ruined by excessive whiskey and women. Each and every year, Clyde, the kind and pitiful mortal that he was, would appear with me at each lecture and sit on the edge of the platform, wheezing and staring at the audience through bleary bloodshot eyes, sweating profusely, picking his nose, passing gas, and making some of the greatest obscene gestures these eyes have ever beheld. And I would point him out as an example of what overindulgence can do to any person who doesn't follow the straight and narrow. Last fall, unfortunately, Clyde died. In conversations with other people while I was on tour, a mutual friend has given me your name. <laughs> And although it will be hard to fill Clyde's shoes, I was wondering if you would be available to take his place on future tours. Now, some of you may know that my sister also has a exercise place in Kingston now. So I went to her with my problem. I'm a little overweight. I've gained about 25 pounds since high school. And asked her for a diet. So she put me on the A diet a whole chicken, a whole pizza. So after gaining 20 pounds, I quit the program and called Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> so anyway, I would like to continue with the memories that people remember. Some of these I'd rather not do. Do you remember the bounty drive-in? Gary Kendrick's red truck. <laughs> and this one I don't even remember. Steve Motes running the wrong way after recovering a fumble <laughs> at Oliver Springs. Do you remember girls basketball players going to the state? Gail Rogers, do you remember Coach Cornwall? <laughs> <laughs> Mike Evans from Rockwood. Do you remember Miss Littleton going down the hall, checking distance between couples leaning on the lockers? <laughs> I have punches in my stomach from that one. <laughs> the alma mater, the girls powder puff football game, and who was the quarterback? Do you remember when Mrs. Wilson substituted classes and David Oren fought with her? when Joyce Aikens chased football players down the hall, the yellow jacket drive-in. Do you remember the Villa Rose? Parker's Grill? <laughs> and, and who thought it was just another drive-in? <laughs> I have Jan Young. <laughs> <clears throat> 
And who doesn't forget Louise? <laughs> Do you remember the Demolays? The Viscounts? And boys, do you remember where you were when the shop building burned? <laughs> do you remember, girls, remember the trend of pastel suede shoes? Charm bracelets. Everybody getting their ears pierced. Now I think even my son has two or three holes. <laughs> do you remember Senior Lounge? That's a quiet place. Shirt Fruit Loops. Do you remember P.E. with Mrs. Oren, Mrs. Eller, and the PFRs? And how many would pass now? <laughs> Not me. Do you remember Elvis Presley movies? When Pat Dunn was forever getting sent home for not wearing socks to school. <laughs> Do you remember Mr. Derryberry in economics and civics letting you use your books on the test? Do you remember dissecting, dissecting cats in Mr. Kring's and Mrs. Quimby's biology class and the aroma that filled the school until it was finally completed? Do you remember home economics under Ms. Delaney and Ms. Reimer? Spanish with Como está usted? Mrs. Grisham. Do you remember the loving Mrs. Lassane? <laughs> Always. And who could ever forget homecoming night, one of our four victories, when we defeated Dayton 13 to 6. And do you remember Beecher Bell? Do you remember Shakespeare with Mrs. Banker? Counseling with always faithful, Jess Plemons. Do you remember Roy Reb Bowen? <laughs> Do you remember Jim Tipton, Peggy Stegall, Marcia Huff, and Phyllis Giles getting married our senior year? Do you remember Lucy Jones in the office? And boys, do you remember White socks and penny loafers. Girls, remember the pool, oh, excuse me. Guys, remember the pool hall standing on the corner? You forgot to add to this, watching the one light turn green. <laughs> For years, that's all we had. The skating rink, the sock hops. Nancy, Janie, Bruce, and David B. Remember the ghost house in Sevierville on class night? Computer dating. And the cannon across from the school and the big maple tree for our one day as the state capitol. Memories are fine. They bring back a lot. I was here on the 10th year reunion, and I'm happy to be here tonight. And I hope that each and every one of you are glad to be here and happy to see the other people. No matter what the changes, they all have been nice. There's people I don't remember, I'm sorry. There's people I'm sure that other people don't remember. But we're all here together tonight. It's a great night for all of us. Thank you. Steve, you're about as bad as Jess. Bring my notes back. He does. He has to. But you shouldn't need this. Your memory should be better than mine. No, it's worse. <laughs> All right. Um, real quick, um, we got special presentations, and Jimmy Dutton's going to help me do them. All right. All right. We're going to uh, first presentation we're going to give out tonight 
It'll be the class member who's been married the longest. And we're going to do this by elimination. Would uh, all class members that have been married 15 years stand up? All class members have been married 15 years. Are right, we going to start sitting you down? Let's go to 16. 17. 18. 19. 20. 21. Has anybody been married 21 years? 42. Peggy? <laughs> How can you be married 21 years when you've been out of school 20? <laughs> you cheated. You cheated. They're all of them. <laughs> All right, Peggy, come on up here. Come on. We since we thought since you've been married the longest, you'd have the most questions to ask Dr. Ruth. <laughs> and since you could, you, we started to give. Go, go and use it now. I, we started to give you our phone number, so we just thought this would be the best thing to book. So you. <laughs> you want to do the next one? All right, the next one will be the, this for the fe uh, female and, uh, and male, both of our class members. We're going to give two on this. The class member that uh, has changed the least. And we need you all's help to, uh, to decide this. We need a couple of nominations on the girls and the boys both. After you all looked at all these badges. All right, Bill, come up here. We'll see. Tim? Uh, all right, Janice. No, I haven't. <laughs> I'm not one of. Janice, come on. All right, I need. A... All right, Tim. Where you at? Tim. All right, we got more women that thinks that. No, we can't nominate somebody after you already been up here. Is this it? We got any more women that wants to be nominated? All right, Shirley. Shirley Thacker. Where are you? Change the least. They're dying when they see the gifts. Yeah. Okay. Now we got. We're gonna have to eliminate two of these. Who? I have to look at the badges. Who? How many things be on? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Who? <laughs> Who else? Karen T. All right, Karen, come on. <laughs> we hope you all. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, is any more? Is this it? Y'all think these changed? How many thanks, Bill? We need by, by applause. How many thanks Bill's changed the least? All right. All right. What about Tim? All right. Wait a minute, wait a minute, don't give it yet. All right, Tim. You're on there. All right, let's go by the women here now. All right, how many thanks Janice uh, has changed the least since her high school? All right, applause. All right, about Karen Teal. I mean Karen. Thacker. Shirley, Shirley Thacker. I told you I'm not good with names. Sure. Nancy King. I think Shirley got it. All right, Shirley. All right. She wouldn't stand up, so. Okay, since they hadn't changed, we don't think they changed most. We thought we they ought to change with us. So. What we done is got Karen a mask that looks like the rest of us. <laughs> and, and ours are merry to go with it. Bill, here's a good mask for you. Next time we play golf together, I want you to wear it. Now you think they've changed. <laughs> All right, now we want the one that changed the most. Who do you think has changed the most? All right, Pat, come on up. 
Joe Ellens. Now, one at a time, I can't hear all of you. <laughs> Joe Ellen? Pat? Who else? Ashley Ho? Ashley? Joe Ellen? <laughs> Jan Young? All right. Uh, now I need uh, another man. All right, Doug, where are you at? Ashley, where are you? Come on, y'all. Let's go. Jim Tipton? Yeah, what's that? Okay. Hey, Jim? Tipton, where are you? <laughs> Ashley, where are you at? Ashley, ho. Oh, wait a minute. All right, Margaret, where are you at? Margaret Strader. Okay. All right. Ashley, you ain't showed up yet. Where are you? I can't spot you. Ashley refused to play. He refuses. Okay. All right, let's do it. Do it. All right. What about Jim? Who thinks he's changed the most? <laughs> not, not you, Jim. How many things Jim Tipton's changed the most by applause? <laughs> All right, what about Doug Jackson? <laughs> Pat Dunn. All right, Pat. All right, Pat, you, I think you got... We got go yeah, y'all lost. <laughs> I believe I'd like to lose that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Joanne Kelly, how many things she's changed the most? <laughs> Jane Young. <laughs> Margaret Strader. <laughs> All right. Joanne, you. Oh, is that what? It... Hey, y'all like these gifts. They're great. This will make you. We give you. No... Open them up there. Gentlemen's old age kit and a ladies' old age kit. <laughs> here, let's. Yeah, come here and see, see what's in them. On the ladies' old age, we got an old ladies' kit for uh, Joellen. She's got a thing for her false teeth. She's got some cold cream and a complete guide to sex for middle age. Can I read that now? No. All right, Pat, let's see what's yours. All right, Pat, he's got, a, he's got a thing for his false teeth also. He's got a uh, ball head polish. You know that big pretty good? It's getting there. And he's got a complete guide for sex for middle age. <laughs> Y'all sit and read them together. <laughs> Don't let anybody take that book away from you. <clears throat> okay. Well, the next one is who traveled the farthest. Has anybody traveled 3,000 miles? Has anybody traveled 3,000 miles to get here? 2,000? All right. Has anybody traveled further than 2,000 miles to get here? All right, Connie. Connie? Yes. Connie? Hey, Connie, I believe you got it. <laughs> Come on. <clears throat> she's, uh, she lives in California. I think she's traveled the furthest then. Oh, it is, too. It's long on the other side. Well, there's a guide to get back home, and then Good. something that you really wanted is a subscription to the Roan County News. All right. Yeah. yeah, you need to turn that in. We got that. That's a that was donated by the Ron Kane. It's a complete year subscription Ron Kane News for you, so you can keep up what goes on here. And an atlas. Too. And to get back, learn how to come back home. Oh. 
Okay. I know we got some classmates that exist, but I don't know if they all showed up. Have we got any classmates that are expecting? Expect expecting what? Expecting, yeah. <laughs> expecting what? <laughs> ah! Do we not have none? I know we had one. We got one, he, and uh, he didn't show up. That's David Page. He's, they're expecting one, a uh, baby. But, okay. Who's got the youngest ch uh, child? Has anybody got a child under one year old? Has anybody got a child under one? Has anybody got a child under two? Uh -oh. oh, I don't believe this. <laughs> you do? Oh! Hey, I forgot about Jim. That's... All right, Jim? It's oh, rigged. It's rigged. <laughs> I'll, I'll present his to him then since he's... We got him a clock so when he has to get up in the middle of the night, he can hang this above his baby's bed and know what time it is at 2 o'clock in the morning. All of us have done this. So, Jim, we thought you might like to know what, how long you stay up at night. Well, thank you, Eddie, but I'll just give this to my wife. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, we're trying to give one to the largest family. Uh, has anybody got uh, four kids? How many people's got four? Five? Well, there's only one hand. Huh? One hand? <laughs> Who is it? I can't see you. Sylvia. Sylvia? There's one of them. You go. Oh, Come on up. Is there one? Yeah, she put it down. Here. Sylvia? How many kids do you have? Five. Five? Colin's picture. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> we thought we like you, all parents like to display their kids' pictures. So we thought she had more than this. So you we still got, got room for more. You got room for more. You still got room for more. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Earlier, I said we had some people that was grandparents, so I don't know if we got any more here. Have we got anybody that's a grandparent? Besides the ones you mentioned? Is anybody here that's got any grandkids? Now, don't be bashful, stand up. Yeah. Uh, Ted Duvall. Ted Duvall. He didn't show. <laughs> Ted Duvall, he's got, I knew he did. But I didn't know if anybody else did or not. We had some good gifts for this. All right, what about, all right, since uh, we don't got no grandparents, we can go to, uh, who's got the oldest child? Anybody got a child, uh, 19? Pam. Pam? I've got a stepchild, 22. All right, we need a boy and girl. Come on up, both of you. Steve? <laughs> huh? Come on. <laughs> no, come on. <laughs> Pam? Who's the other one? Come on up. That's the walking sticks. Okay. You make sure that's right. Oh, she Well, so we figured since y'all had those, we might thought y'all would be the grandparents first. Kind of broken down. Kind of broken down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's all the... <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. That includes that part of the program. And uh, we had a, we had some door prizes, too. We're going to have drawings for that, too. Uh, Nick, you got a few more names put in here? Do you have them? Yeah, there's... How many are you going to get? Is she going to get them? Get Just a sec. You going to get 10? I don't know how many we got. I got quite a few. <clears throat> Just a second, we gotta have to do this. <clears throat> These are some that showed up. Uh, we didn't have their name in the sack here. We ought to give somebody. Yeah, yeah. All right, shake them up good, Jim. 
you want to have a little ladies come and draw or you want me to draw? Just go ahead if you want to. All right, Jim's going to do it. Hey, y'all can see Jim's doing this honest. <laughs> the first gift we're drawing for. Wait a minute. Let's get the gift first. Okay. All right, we got uh, Christmas mode. We got it. All right. Phyllis DeBoer. Price. All right. We bought two of these. We tried to buy a couple. We got a real deal on those, didn't we, Eddie? We got a real deal on them. They charged me twice, and I had to <laughs> complain. <laughs> Diane Hubbard? Where are you? Where are you? 